Let's talk about stereotypes. I'm Tessa Stefanello, and today I'm here with Old Westbury basketball team captain DeAndra Scott. How are you today? I am good. So let's get down to it. So we're going to talk about some stereotypes of women basketball players. What are some of the stereotypes you experience as a um, basketball player? I would say the main stereotype would definitely be the perception that every if you're a basketball player you're either gay or you're supposed to look manly so basically the image of what a basketball player should look like people have their own persona of what it is and if you don't fit it you are usually looked at as an outcast or you have a lack of skill in that sport have you yourself experienced any any of this negative stereotyping yeah most of the time because um when I'm outside of class, if I'm not in like my basketball gear, I'm usually like have my hair done or something. So I don't look like a basketball player. That's the line that's usually said to me. So um, to me, it's um, it's kind of offensive because I take pride in my in the in this sport. So it's like right. this is something that I really love to do. So when people tell me I don't look like a basketball player. It's like right. It's like what, what does that mean? What What are you trying to say? Yeah, so that's my thing. Why do you think people have this perception of p girls being a lesbian and being um, a basketball player? I would player? definitely say because if you look at the entire NCAA, the N the WNBA, the majority of the majority of it of um, the women that play are either gay or you know they may look a little manly. So. If you don't fit that image, you're always going to be considered an outcast. So it's just that that's what I would say. Usually if the majority is, everybody's just going to assume that you, you know, you're either gay or you're manly. Right. Do you think that there should be any consequences for negative, negative talk on the court or off the court for these stereotypes? Um, the usually the the negativity is usually coming from outsiders it's not usually within the team so um you can't really say anything to people that it's freedom of speech it's their opinion now if it's within teams then there can definitely be uh, a penalty but for outsiders it's you know you really just got to learn to block that out do you think that this is going to change anytime soon or do you think it's always going to be this way because of the popularity of the lesbian community in women's basketball? I personally don't think it's going to change, but it's definitely going to be accepted more, I guess. It's not going to be a, a stereotype. I think the main stereotype would definitely um, begin to be like women, like a new thing. <laughs> um, there's actually a new rule. Um, for the women NCAA that you only can touch the person one time when you're playing defense, but in men, you can, you know, stay on them. And it's mainly because they want us to be delicate or there's a lot of women that are getting hurt. Right. So we're kind of, you know, treated like little children in a way. So that would be the main stereotype. But for outsiders, it was, it's definitely that, you know, we all are gay and manly, but within us, it's definitely like men versus women. Right. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. No problem. Until next time, I'm Tessa Stefanello. I'll see you next time on Let's Talk About Stereotypes. They're playing basketball.